today we are going to discuss how to speak english language in particular scenarios and how to train our mind to obtain that particular skill in order to achieve our future goals well can you tell me and explain what are the best activities that one can follow to obtain a language skill Okay, welcome to Cybernova my channel. Uh, now I am going to give you the answer. In my answer, there are some uh, steps that you can follow. Right? Let's see what is the first step. Your first step is you have to use an Oxford dictionary instead of a bilingual dictionary. Right? You know already you know the meaning of bilingual dictionary. Right? It means um, you can, if you want to find the singular meaning you can use a bilingual dictionary and if you want to find the tamil meaning you can find you can use a bilingual dictionary i think it's important for you to use a bilingual dictionary but you had better use an oxford dictionary because it has more facilities suppose if you want to find a similar word you can easily find a similar word by using an oxford dictionary and uh, suppose if you want to find uh, an antonym hmm, you can easily find that word by using an oxford dictionary not only that hmm, suppose if you want to find an example for a word that you have found uh, you can easily find more examples for one english word so this is also an this is also a, another benefit and also i wish if you could find an english speaking friend uh, who can support you who can have a conversation frequently together with you uh, uh, and you may try to find an english speaking friend then you can practice what you have learned and also you can watch english movies uh, you know uh, usually when when you watch english movies uh, you can see uh, the subtitles hmm? then using these subtitles you can get an idea you can understand uh, the scenarios of that movie hmm? and you may try to sing english songs with lyrics that is also really benefit beneficial for you to enhance your english knowledge and my dear friends you have to uh, create another habit you have to add another habit to your daily routine you have to start reading and uh, you had better extract some important ideas i mean important sentences and find uh, all the difficult words and write all those sentences in a separate paper and try to repeat all these sentences without looking at the piece of paper can you understand what i mean and try to speak all these ideas like your own ideas when you do uh, this activity for some time your mind is becoming familiar with english language okay now i am going to uh, give you an example how to do this activity suppose now i have a extract a sentence from a newspaper right now i will show you that sentence on my screen then uh, this is what this is uh, this is the sentence that i have extracted uh, the human mind is the most powerful computer most uh, uh, sophisticated computer in this planet right this is the sentence right um, and i write this sentence in a piece of paper at uh, at the very beginning i read very carefully and i find uh, if, uh, if if there is any difficult word i find the uh, definitions and now uh, 
again I am trying to read this sentence. The human mind is the most sophisticated computer in this planet. Right. Now I am trying to tell this sentence without looking at the paper. Like this. Human mind is the most sophisticated computer in this plan and when I repeat uh, the sentence um, in, in the very next moment I try to accelerate my speed right in this manner human mind is the most sophisticated computer in this plan oh my goodness now I can uh, read this sentence without looking at the piece of paper my dear friend, this is the way how you have to practice. And you may practice these sentences as your own ideas. Then your mind is becoming more and more familiar with English vocabulary. Okay, I hope you have got the idea. Okay, now this is the most important activity that you have to follow every day if you really want to speak fluently. Every morning or before you go to bed, you have to walk to the mirror in your room. You had better walk to the mirror alone, not with anyone. Hmm? I mean, there shouldn't be anyone around you. You must be alone to do this activity. You have to talk to yourself and you have to uh, speak like this. Suppose your name is Mr. Pereira or Mr. Fernando. You speak, you start like in this way. You speak to yourself like this. Hello, Mr. Fernando. From today onward, I am going to think in English and I know that I have enough courage to achieve my target and I know that this is not an easy task but I strongly believe that I can do this. I am sure that you will speak in English in near future if you do if you follow these activities wish you all the best hope you have got an idea about the activities that you can follow in order to um, obtain a language skill we hope to see you in our coming videos and uh, we hope to explain you some more activities that you can practice in order to enhance your vocabulary, in order to enhance your speaking ability. Thank you very much for watching.